Yo, what up Z Clan and everybody else? How you doing? Welcome to my Raid Shadow Legends video and in this video we're gonna be summoning a lot of champions and I'm in the big hopes to get my first legendary. So let's not waste some time and jump right into it. Alright, so I'm gonna actually start off with the Asian shards, then we'll navigate to the Void shards, and then we'll do the, fi the final shard, which is the uh, Sacred. I got this one for doing all of the uh, dailies, weeklies, and the monthly. So on the monthly, you get these shards. Just before we get to opening, let me show you what I mean right here. So we got our quests here, and we got the dailies, which you can see I already completed. Then we got the weeklies, when you can also get the... Uh, Asian shard and the monthly where you can get the void shard and the sacred shard which is pretty cool now I'm looking for I'm changing my strategy a little bit I, you can see uh, there are really cool tournaments right now there's a really big one right now and I'm on the first place I just got there because I sacrificed I think over a hundred three stars and converted my guys into four stars and that and I can still uh, go up by leveling my uh, new fresh four stars because it gives a pretty good bonuses uh, so basically this ch uh, tournament is up for another two weeks which is I want to get this book and uh, I want to start getting legendaries and uh, as I said I've changed my strategy a little bit uh, the tournament chase uh, for the champions this is what I'm gonna start doing and uh, when I'm gonna unlock uh, the heroes that we're gonna summon I'm gonna participate from the start in this tournament here but I don't think I'll get this much points as this guy did Jesus how many shards did he save up 4600 that is insane let's go to the info so by the info we can see that if you summon legendary you get 650 okay that's good uh, or fifth, uh, 500 that's if you get a, uh, a spirit or a magic or force this is for the void and I don't have so many cool stuff as they do unfortunately I did not save up I was planning to save up for this sort of tournaments for a month, maybe more. I've say I've been saving those shards for a little bit over two weeks, because uh, previously I used to blast them. But it turns out I really want to get myself some five good, good champions that I want to focus on. Uh, and my champions are kind of bad. Plus, I messed up a little bit with my champions in terms of skill books. So be very careful once you're doing the skill books. Like I leveled her up and used up a lot of skill books but in reality it turns out like she needs another dude in her team in order to use this stupid thing and yeah I messed up so be very careful thank god I didn't mess up on my epic ones and for now this is my uh, dude who is killing everything and he's killing everything in the uh, campaign on the uh, brutal difficulty over here so he's able to take out all of these dudes on his own and train anybody whoever how weak they are that's why I was able to get so many three stars and get myself all the way up to the first place <laughs> cockroaches uh, there's another tournament I mean event happening right now as well which is pretty good uh, you can get like additional bonuses that's what I'm trying to do so I already got all of this and this has to do with the training so it kind of collabs with the tournament which is an amazing amazing thing and we can get a lot of good stuff out of this especially what is that six stars artifacts which I don't even have yet and I hope I'll get this shard as well so I'm on my way uh, it's been less than two days I'm almost halfway through to get this thing <laughs> all right so now let's go and do a little bit of summoning like this is what I did with my champions uh, one second so I gotta go here and I have them in the vault I freed up space so I can uh, start doing those look at that look at all these dudes they're just hungry for being sacrificed and I think I'm gonna start sacrificing rare ones because they're like not as good as epic ones anyway well I don't know I'm still f messing around so Let's go. We're gonna go summon these ones one by one because I've noticed when you're summoning one by one, uh, it's better to do it one by one than summoning all ten at the same time. So, wish me luck, boys. Let's go. <laughs> yes! What's up, Epic in the house? Woohoo! Nice, Warden defense. Yeah! I actually need a spirit. I need a force type and I need a void type 
because uh, by the missions I still need to complete those to level them to level 60. Oh man, this guy looks epic. What does he do? I attack one enemy, has 40% chance of placing a 15% weakened debuff. Uh, damage inflicted. Oh, on defense. Oh yes, this is a good guy. This is a really good guy. And this is based on defense as well. Yes, thank you very much. Attacks all enemies and has the attack all enemy stuff, man. Has a 50% chance of placing 25% uh, decreased attack for two turns. Places 30% uh, increased death. A buff to all allies. Man, I love you. Calm that daddy. And attacks all enemies. Urgh, yes, this is good. Nice. I'm gonna have. That's it. Thank God I was saving all of my uh, epic books. This guy is coming because having a mass damage dealers is a freaking big privilege. I'm telling you. For starters, later on maybe, like at the moment, I have dudes who are doing massive damage and I'm just dominating. It, it is good. But as I said, I've been playing for a little bit over a month. So, ooh man, I'm so happy. This guy is definitely going on my team. Defense. Ooh. Let's go. Yay. New tournament. Position nine. Okay, let's go, baby. Come on. Boy. Anything. Epic. Yeah, cockroach. Okay, I know this guy. Nothing good about him. This guy, I think I know too. Madman. Attacks one enemy. Attacks all enemies. Heals this champion by 10% of the damage inflicted. If this champion current HP is below. Eh. Good though. No, I, I never had this one, by the way. Let's go again. Okay, you can actually get this one from the campaigns. He's actually really tough, by the way. I had troubles dealing with him. Has 15% to stun. Attacks all enemies. Decreases turn meter by 20%. Has a 50% chance of placing 15%. Decreased speed debuff. And oh wow. His damage is based on the attack. Attack defense. And I don't know, what is this? 30% increase debuff and counter attack buff on the champion. Okay, that, that counter attack on this stupid champion, if you make him really freaking defensive, he's a real pain. You need a lot of freaking damage to take this dude out. Pretty tough one. I think this one is one, the one you can choose at the beginning. She's tough as well, but definitely she ain't going on my team. I need the epic ones. Oh, legendary, please! Ooh. I already have one of these. A four star one. But I'm not sure if she's that good. I wanted to get. When I just started playing, I thought of getting myself just an orc, uh, an orc company, but turns out it was a bad idea. In those fraction warriors can wait until I'm trying to uh, boost myself uh, in the arena, uh, and that will help me to continue with my missions and get some more books, gems, and other cool stuff. So that's why I decided to aim on five strong champions, so I can level them up like crazy and get them the best gear, and then I'll start doing one, another one, another one, another one, and as we go. All right, let's go. I never had her on my team before. Attack one enemy, has 25% chance for stun. Uh, poison all enemies and all enemies. Attacks all enemies. Okay, is she good? But no. Rare. Anyway, I'll think about my squad when I open all of the champions. But that guy is definitely going on my team. Hello, Death. Chanter, whatever you are. Jeez, orc. Not bad. HP. 
I love orcs. Attacks one enemy, places shield buff on this champion for two turns. The value of the shield is equal to the damage inflicted. Ooh, wow. And based on attack, attacks one enemy, uh, damage increases according to this champion current HP. Attacks one places 100% heal reduction buff for three turns. Okay, that's a really good thing. Yes, sir. I'll find good use for him in one of the dungeons where you have to fight the spirit who heals itself all the time. Alright, let's go again. We got. Still, we still got a lot of shards, man. Let's go. Okay, I never had this one. Bone Knight. Attacks two enemies in time. 50% heal reduction. 80% heal reduction. Okay, the heal reduction is good. Uh, see. But he's rare. Come on. E epic. Legendary. Please. This guy sucks. Let's go. Freaking cockroach. No. Come on. Let's go. Please. Ah. She sucks. I'm gonna freaking sacrifice her. Maybe I don't know. I'm trying to put him, make a team of uh, epic ones and uh, legendary. Well, I'll keep my rare dude because he's good for now. Let's go, please. Ah. Oh la la, Kanadare, who are you? Canones, Canones, defense. Oh, who are you, my love? What do you do? Attack one enemy has a 20% chance uh, of placing a 25% increase attack buff on a random alley for two turns. On on the random for two turns. Placing 50%. Oh, that's good. I mean, it's alright. But it's better than nothing. Attack one enemy has 80% chance of placing a 50% decrease accuracy. Okay. Places a 50% ally protection buff and a 60% increase de increased defense buff on the target for two turns. Also places 15% continuous heal buff on this champion. Wow, that's a good defense, but oh, well, I'm not gonna sacrifice her. That's for sure because she's epic, and uh, I'm pretty sure I'll find some good use for her right now. But at the moment, with my current knowledge of the game, I don't see where I can put her. But good. Come on, legendary. Yellow. I hate you. Stupid game. Let's go. Come on now. Let's go. Come on now, please. Flash heater, what? Flash eater. Oh my god. I'm from Ukraine, sometimes I mispronounce stuff. Have that in mind. I never had this dude, by the way. He's rare, but. Yeah. Go. Whatever. Let's go. I never had her. She's support. Chance sleep. Places continuous heal buff on all allies for two turns. That is good. In attack increase buff on all allies for three turns. Maybe uh okay. I'll think about it. So at the moment who I wanna have in my team is the new defense guy that we got the first pull and my current orc. Okay, look. We'll think about it once we're done with all the shards. 
Come on, baby. Let's go. Another one just like him. I'll need to lock the ones that I don't want to sacrifice by mistake. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to rethink everything. Oh my god! Alright, I already had the, I already have this guy. Seems to be alright. Attacks all enemies two times. He's the attack type. Mm. Mm. Attacks all enemies. Oh, damage based on HP, that's cool. Attacks all enemies, places 25%, attack decrease buff for 2 turns. Decreases the damage taken by this champion by 30 when their HP drops below 30. My god, this game got so many champions, I don't even know what to do now. Kael, okay this guy is strong man. He's strong, but he's killable. How many reviews this guy's got? Man, that is insane. Let's go. Crit rate buff on this champion for two turns, then attacks all enemies. Ooh, wow. Has a 50% chance of decreasing from the moment. His attack is critical. Okay. Let's go. Magma blood. Go for you, magma blood. I know I don't have this guy. What does he do? Stun. Attacks all enemies. Text 2 at random. What? Each hit has a 60% chance of placing a bomb debuff for 3 turns. Probably that bomb explodes or something, I don't know. Let's go! Come on, please, give me it! What? Why? 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 Chopper. <laughs> Chopper. <laughs> I, don't, I never had this one, by the way. Text 1 enemy. Text one stun. Moves. Okay. Chop chopper. Let's go. Ooh, wow, this guy looks cool. I never had him. One enemy two times. Placing attack decrease. Mm -hmm, uh -huh, uh -huh, okay. Take two times at random. Stun. Attacks all enemies. Yeah. Oh, I don't want this. Let's go. Look at it. Got three shards left. Come on, give me one more epic, please. Never had her. No. I don't know. No. Let's go. Come on now. Epic. Wow. Who is this? Crimson Slayer. Attack. Three times at random, each heat has a chance of placing sleep deep up. Okay, there are too many champions in this game. I don't even know what to do anymore. Okay, we're done here. The biggest and the coolest pull. Was that, uh, who was it? Oh, look, I've unlocked a lot of probably new champions. 
And this guy right here is my is the best pull for now. I'm definitely going with this guy. This guy only a few reviews. Arena defense or even offense. Spider Den. Well, of course he's good for Spider Den. With so many mass attacks, he's really good with Spider. Let's go with the index. Oh, look at that, all red. Okay, we're gonna do that later. Let's go. Void shard. Epic legendary, please. I'm gonna do this with my eyes closed. Cockroach, and I have this cockroach, and I don't like this cockroach. Come on now. Bloodhorn. Oh my smola. Hola, hola, hola. What well, up? What do you do? Ally protection. If an ally is hit with a critical hit, places a 7.5 continuous heal buff on them. Ooh. Continuous heal is good. Campaign locations, arena, defense. Only 10 reviews. Let's go! Support, what's up? Ooh, yes, yes, yes. Oh, look at that sword. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Tell me you got good skills. Attacks one enemy, has a 10% chance of placing a 5% poison debuff for two turns. Yeah. What is this? Heals a target ally by 30% of their max HP, places a 60% increase death buff for two turns okay now this is good very good and final one oh my god revives all dead allies to 25% HP revives all dead allies 25% you know, max HP and boost their critical meter to the max <sighs> oh she definitely coming on my team man oh yes 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 I just have to think of what I should put her so she survives the most. Where is she good? Arena defense, clan boss, dragon lair. Oh yes, she definitely coming on my team. What's up? Okay, I got three dudes that I want on my team now. Oh, from all these pulls, two dudes I, I want on my team. I need two more. One for my uh, arena team and the other one for the dungeons. Let's go. Please. Kokoroch. Well, I never had her. Yeah. Yeah. Fifty percent chance stun. Yeah, I'm gonna have to lock all the characters who I don't wanna sacrifice by mistake. And look at that here. Oh, it wasn't me. Come on, please, please, epic, legendary. Yeah. Don't have this dude either. Oh, she ain't look hot, man. Look at that. What is she gonna do with those arrows, man? They're so small. <laughs> what do you do? Attacks four times at random. Each hit has a 25% chance of placing a 50% heal reduction buff. Okay, that's cool. 100%. Okay, definitely. Sh I don't want to sell her because those heal reductions are really nice for some dungeons. Attack soul enemies, that is very good. Places 5% poison debuff. Okay. Attacks one enemy fully depends. Oh, wait. To please the critical meter has a 30% chance of inflating a critical hit. Okay. Damage based on enemy max HP attack. Attack, attack. Oh, yeah. Let's go. Let's 
Attacks one, no. Attacks all enemies, whatever. Yeah, I'm gonna read through this champions later. And the final one. Please give me a legendary. Please. Please. Attack type force actually force is good. Force is good. I'm, I was looking for a force champion. What do you do? Attack all enemies. Good. Places 25% increased attack buff on this champion for two turns if its attack is critical. Attacks one enemy, places a stun buff for one turn. Okay, that is also good sometimes. I'm very curious what this is. Revives this champion to 30% HP when killed. No way. Is it with a percent? No. It revives it. Ooh. Wow. Ooh. Wow. Ooh. When HP killed, places a block deeper. Oh man. Okay. Okay. Well, I was actually hoping for a legendary. <laughs> <laughs> For my first legendary, I guess it's just not my day. Uh, let's do these ones as well, real quick. Oh no, I don't have room. Ah, who cares? Let's go. Mala bela, ooh ah ooh. Nah. Kael, ooh, Kael is good. I have two. I can sacrifice for his skills. Let's go. We'll see. I'm not sure. Let's check what the market is selling. Yeah, I'm gonna take that thing render and I'll take that thing render as well. Okay, done. Champions. I'm gonna get rid of this guy. I'm gonna sacrifice him. I mean, I might even gonna keep him by the way. Because I invested some books into him and he does a lot of uh, massive damage. Like, damage all enemies. Damage all enemies. Damage all enemies. Yeah, I'm gonna keep him. No sacrifice. Her. I'm gonna sacrifice. Him. I don't know. No, he wasn't that good performing. Yeah, I'm not gonna sacrifice him. Because that's already 250, so that's good. This guy definitely gonna sacrifice. This guy. Okay, let me see. So. That's one, good. I have this, I have the void. Oh man, she's exactly the same type as him. Oh, she also gives a speed buff or aura. In fraction crypts, ah, okay. Oh wait, who is she? Oh, ah, okay. That's not the one that I want to put on my team, by the way. Or I did. Well, she definitely going on my team. This one right here. One, two, three, four. That's my new team, ladies and gentlemen. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Of all types. And I need to make this 60, this 60, and this 60. Now I just need to understand. On whom shall I sacrifice all the books? I think on the defense guy. Defense is more important as well. Or this guy. Skills. 
Five damage, five damage. Cool down. Cool down. Oh man, eight. Okay. No, uh, I think I'm gonna sacrifice my books on this guy. Next one, enemy. We can debuff. Okay. Text all enemies. Good. Text all enemies. Good. An aura increases ally. What in the arena by thirty percent? Hello, 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 my friend. How you doing today? All right. I am happy. Say hello to my best friend now. Who I would say is the best pull from these guys? I don't know. Maybe I think her. She's the best pull because of all this stuff. Ooh, yeah. Bala, bala. Ooh, ah, ooh. <laughs> hmm. All right. Let's see. By the way, if we oh, let's go over here and see how much free stuff we can get. What? Oh my God! I'm so close to get another book. What's up? What? 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 What's up on the fourth place? I want this book. Screw these things. I want this book. Kinda daddy. Kinda daddy. Kinda daddy. Kinda daddy. Kinda daddy. Well, who are you, by the way? Four star. Oh, I got the book as well. Kinda daddy. Yeah, what's up? There you go. Let's go check her out. She is spirit. Wow, that's good. Ooh, another chica. And also support. <laughs> so look, they're so, sort of identical. Just different hair color and different... Uh, what does she do? Wow. Bolstering blow. Attack one enemy. Heals the ally with the lowest HP by 15% of in the inflicted damage based on attack. Song of three, three places a 15% continues buff on all allies with the lowest HP for two turns if this attack is critical. Mm. Revives two random allies with 50% HP. Revives. Wow. Malabila. Ooh. Ah, ooh. Ah, uh, they're both spirit, man. Actually, wait, she's gonna be my fifth. Yeah, she's gonna be my fifth. My fifth champion. For the dungeons. Two support, one super defense, a good attack guy, and another good, a uh, sort of good attack guy. Malabila, ooh, ah, ooh. <laughs> I love this. Alright, Z Clan. I have a lot of uh, reading and investigation to do, but I love it. I love it. Uh, luck. New tournament position, number three. <laughs> What's up? There we go. There we go. That's it. I'm gonna save up my shards again uh, and do one more video on this opening. This was, oh man, that was good. So, definitely wanna get this shard. Maybe for another, until I'm gonna complete this, I will see if I'll be using, but I wanna do this in one and a half months when I'm gonna have way more shards, I think. Well, it depends, but I definitely wanna keep a lot of shards. Malabela, ooh, ah, ooh. yes, I am happy now. Now I can focus and think of things and do something. And I gotta do a lot of training, and I don't have energy. Look at all this stuff. Who did I unlock here? Uh, her. 
Yeah, Zsol is gonna have a lot of reading to do. There you go. Support. Support. What's up? Wow. Okay, now the game is getting even more interesting. <laughs> I gotta tell you, man, even more interesting. What's up? I love it. Alright folks, I hope you enjoyed the show and if you did, you know the drill. Don't forget to leave your comment down below and smash that like. By the way, please not use profanity as those comments are invisible to other users. And if you're new, don't forget to subscribe for more content like these. And have in mind that the main game is Fallout 76, where I do a lot of video uploads. I mean, daily video uploads, sometimes even more than one. So have that in mind. So you might want not to put the bell notification so I don't blast you with Fallout 76 content if that is something you're not interested in. But if this is something you're interested in, these types of videos will be coming out. Uh, depending if I have anything to shoot so I would pers I would say around maybe well I see I'll I'm just checking what i what other types of videos I should do but definitely I'll do my best to provide at least one video per two weeks or maybe per week or maybe take this to the next level and provide it on daily basis like of uh, tournaments or events notifications and uh, how to prepare for them what I did to prepare for them because I gotta be honest, I did spend uh, money on this game, but I spent it weeks ago just to get the gems and I didn't spend a lot. I spent like around $15 and not more and I'm not planning to do any more because I really wanted to get that mine, uh, gem mine right here to its max level and I would recommend you to do the same only in one condition. Do this in one condition. If you know for a hundred and 1% that you will keep playing this game then I would recommend to make that investment because the gem mine gives me 10 to 15 gems per day plus uh, the dailies gives me another 10 so only upgrade this and this should be your first priority in whatever you do with your gems upgrade this to its max level then I would recommend doing the market upgrade to open all the fields because sometimes you get ancient shards sold here for 200 silver I'm not sure if void or legendary are being sold I've never seen those before I did see five stars uh, weapons but I didn't see anything good so uh, maybe it has a super rare chance and super high value I'm not sure then once you're done with the market I would recommend to at least put one level here and I don't think I'll be investing anymore because I don't know how much more XP you will be getting giving plus I don't know the training pit mm, I don't I don't know I'll think about it if I'll go more levels but now I think I'm gonna use my gems for buying the uh, more energy so I can continue the grind I haven't bought a single time so what I'm curious to find out is if I buy this right now actually let's do it together uh, yes 40 will it still cost 40 yes it will still cost 40 okay that is good that is actually really nice because in some games you can buy this once for like 40 then the next one is gonna be like uh, 80 the next one is gonna be a hundred something and so on uh, but this is 40 this is good so this is very good uh, okay nice so I gotta start my training alright folks I hope you enjoyed the show and if you did you know drill Oh yeah, I already said that, didn't I? Man, I just got carried away. My, my mindset is all set for those new champions of mine. Let's go. Let's dominate the arena. I'll see you later. Bye. By the way, if you subscribe, welcome to Z Clan. I'm Gamer Z. So I'm from Ukraine. So I'm from Ukraine. Where are you from? I'll see you in the next video. Bye. <laughs>